Back here at the Penn State Ice Pavilion, Lou Cowell along with Jeff Landis and our engineer Steve Babick. Where the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Villanova Wildcats are even at the end of one period of play. Goals for the Lions by Brad Rush on a great feed from Glenda Stefano, evening up the score after Villanova had taken an early lead on a goal by Tim Raggled on a fine feed from Bill Carey. And, and Jeff, we've got a very, very physical game in the making, I believe. It hasn't been as physical as you might have expected in the first period, but the the pace of the play and the aggressiveness seemed to pick up uh, as the first period wore on. It appeared that both teams were initially just trying to feel each other out and then uh, and were cautious because nobody wanted to make an early mistake. Uh, the Lions picked up some quick penalties, were able to kill off most of them. And of course, uh, Villanova did score their first goal on a power play goal when Roger first went into the box for interference. But the Lions came on and uh, it appeared that they were down by two goals at one point when the uh, the second Villanova goal was washed away. And then they were able to retaliate on that goal by Brad Rush. So right now I look for two more very entertaining periods of hockey. Goaltender Jim Pollock has uh, come up big a number of times, especially in the second half of that period. And, and if it weren't for his fine net minded right now, Villanova might have a two or three goal lead. And I've been very impressed with his play. He played extremely well on Friday night in the eight to three victory over Buffalo State. And then of course last night, uh, superlative performance by Andy Schaub as uh, he registered the first shutout in some seven or eight years for the uh, Penn State Nittany Lions. So, you know, a team, uh, if you expect to play competitive hockey and, and, and become victorious against the likes of a Villanova, you're going to have to get great goaltending, and that's what they've gotten so far in the first period. Okay, handling this play-by-play -play here in the second period, Luke Cal. Okay, thank you, Jeff. The Wildcats will be starting with... Uh, the defensive pairing of Paul LaFond and Brian Emmerich. And they'll have the line of Bill Carey along with Mark LaFond. And on the right side, John Lammers. The Lions, on the other hand, will have Joe Batista and Dean Petraka on the back line. And the line of Matt Glass along with Jamie Hedema and Roger First will start up front. Fans are starting to get into the action a little bit here. I think they're starting to feel the excitement a little more than they did in the first period. I think the tentative is over. It's time to start playing the game. Faceoff is controlled now by the Wildcats as a long shot from outside the blue line by Bill Carey goes wide. Now the Lions fight for it in the corner. Their Wildcats come out with it. A backhand pass on the goal is deflected wide. Matt Glass has it there, tries to clear it out of the zone. He can't. It's held in on the left side by Lafine. Now the puck is still loose on the left side where Joe Batista takes it, and he clears it out. Matt Glass has it. He's got a two-on-one forming. Glass with Roger first in front and swept away there by the defense. Paul Lafine in the left-wing corner in front to Hedema. Shot saved by Margiotti as Jamie Hedema was set up right in the slot from about 15 feet away, and he got a high wrist shot off, and Margiotta saw it all the way, and Glove saved it, and we'll have a face-off just to the right of the Villanova goaltender. I think Jamie'd like that one back. He was all alone right in the slot, shot it right into the goaltender's chest. I think if he would let it go, it probably even went over the net. Uh, Jamie will take that one back any day, I think. Beautiful pass from first. Good setup from Roger first, as that line stays out there now. Matt Glass situated a couple of feet behind first in the slot. Batista at the right point and Petraka at the left. The Wildcats out there now have Mike Buffano along with Tim Curran and Tim Rago. Now they put Beck out there. Quick shot off the faceoff from Glass is wide. Back to the point to Petraka on goal. Knocked down in front. The Lions center it as Roger first centers it. It's sticked aside by the goaltender. First gets it back in the corner, centers it again. Comes to Hedema. Hedema tries to get it back to the point. He can't. It's intercepted there by the Wildcats, Tim Raggle. Now the puck goes behind the goal as first goes in after it. Hard body check there on Curran. Now the Wildcats go after it behind the goal. Curran has it. He's slowed up there by Matt Glass with a good check. Now Barry or I should say Jeff Beck and Jamie Hedema go in and tie the puck up along the right wing boards and we'll have a face off again to the left of goaltender Margiotti. I think uh, Coach Coach Clay John put that line out there specifically for its hitting. He, they were throwing the body out there all around. First with a nice check over here in the corner. 
Jamie had him in the other corner, and Matt Glass stealing the puck from the uh, Villanova defenseman. The Stefano line out there now. The Stefano, Brad Rush, and John Granda. Brad Rush with the puck winds it around the boards behind the goal, where it's taken there on the left wing by Ragold. Ragold ahead for a current. He can't control the puck. Goes back into the Lions zone, where it's taken there by De Stefano. De Stefano ahead to Rush. Pass too far in front of him. De Stefano gets it back. Now John Granda has it. Centers in front. Nobody home. Back now to Guy Ackerman. Guy Ackerman centers in front. He has it again. It's loose. And now behind the goal, as Granda fights in after it there, along with Ken Downey. And we're going to have an interference call. And I believe it's going to go on Downey, but we'll wait for the call. Yeah, Lou, it was uh, the Penn State player. I think it was Rush went in front of the net, circled right in front, and the guy just took him down right in front of the net when he didn't even have the puck. We so, got uh, 18 minutes and 19 seconds to go here in the second period of a one-to-one -one hockey game, and the penalty was to Jeff Beck, number four, and the Lions will be on the power play here. And we'll see what they can do. They'll send out some offensive firepower, including John Grand of Brad Rush and Glenda Stefano. Joe Batista will be at the right point, and Dean Petraka at the left point. For Villanova, killing penalties in there will be number 19. And a quick shot off the faceoff, and a good save by Margiotti. Great, there's a great screen in front, right through the legs of Brad Rush, I think, there. And goalie made nice save, it was right into his pads, though, luckily, I think, for him. Whitaker, Emmerich, and Mancuso, along with LaFond out there to kill the penalty for the Wildcats. Lions control the draw. De Stefano gets it back to Batista. Back to the point again to Batista. He looks, holds, almost forced out of the zone, but manages to keep it in where John Granda has it. He winds it around the boards for Glenn De Stefano. De Stefano behind the net. Now comes out with it. Crosses over for Batista, but it's picked off there by Whitaker. And Whitaker just dumps it down the ice. And Pollock will leave it there for his defenseman, Dean Petraka. Now Joe Batista picks it up along the left wing. Batista starts out of the zone. Joe Batista at center. Ahead for John Granda. Granda just weakly rolls it in on the net where Margiati will hold as De Stefano and Brad Rush were starting to bear down. So they'll take the face off here with a minute 22 to go on the power play. 17.41 to go second period of a one-to-one -one hockey game. Not too much going with that line out there on the power play. Now they're going to go with the Hedema line with Glass and First. Mancuso and Hedema go for the draw. It's won by the Lions. Roger First has it. Back to the point to Petraka. Petraka back to First. First left wing boards. Back to Petraka. Left point. Petraka crosses to Batista. Joe has it. To Matt Glass. Matt Glass along the right wing boards. He's watched there by Lafine. Now gets it back to Batista. Joe just holds the puck. Now centers it to Roger First. Shot save. Margiotti has a good setup there by First. But the Lions unable to connect on the goal. Here's Hedema with it in the left corner. Jamie Hedema looks to center. Now comes behind the goal. Does center. Glass. Shot. And it never reaches the goaltenders. It's knocked down in front there by Emmerich. Now Joe Batista with it, brings it into the corner. Now it's picked off there by the Wildcats, and Chris Mancuso will dump it down the ice. Beautiful the setups there by the Penn State Nittany Lions. Uh, beautiful play by Hedema to right in front to Matt Glass, who his shot was deflected wide by, by excuse me, by the Villanova defenseman who was diving across. Some fine opportunities there for the Lions. Villanova's number eight defenseman Brian Emmerich shoots it back into the zone as the Lions now have but 16 seconds to go on the power play as Dave Brody comes out there now along with Roger First and Matt Glass up front. Batista and Petraka still on the points. Villanova dumps it behind the line goal. Matt Glass has it there along the right wing boards. He feeds it ahead to Roger First. He's got Brody breaking but feeds to uh, Roger First and First can't control the puck. Now gets it back in the corner. Roger first, left wing corner, looks to center. Back around the boards to Batista. Batista, right point, shot, knocked down, and it goes wide of the goaltender. Roger first has it there, back to the point to Petraka, a drive, save! Margiotti, shot was right on. I don't know how that puck made its way through there, Lou. It was at the point, there's about four or five players in front, it just made it through, and uh, goaltender made a fine save again. Well, the Wildcats able to kill off the penalty as the Lions now send out Brody with Dan Humphreys and Joe Granda. Granda stationed in the slot. Guy Ackerman and Greg Smith on the points. Centering for Villanova. And they've been shifting him around quite a bit tonight as number 10 John Lammers between the right wing and the center slot. 
puck is controlled by the Lions. Greg Smith as Humphrey loses his stick and is unable to corral the pass from Smith, still in the zone. Brody bumping it after it along there with Humphreys. Humphrey comes away with it in the slot. The Granda shot knocked away by Ken Downey. Now back behind the Villanova goal, taken there by Billy Quinlan. Quinlan is almost tripped as the puck comes into the slot where Humphreys had an opportunity, but he was unable to control. Comes back out to center ice where the Lions' Dan Humphreys with a good body check there on Quinlan. And the Lions regain control of the puck. Greg Smith dumps it into the zone. No icing as the Wildcats wanted one. Brody behind the goal, back to the point to Petraka. Shot! Save! Margiotti, right on. The hitting is really getting fierce out there now, Lou. There's been a lot of high hits, a lot of hard hits, and a lot of hits after the puck has got his shot away. So I think it's going to start picking up a lot out here. It seems like a lot faster action here in the second period also. That shot from Petraka from the left point was low along the ice, but there was no screen in front. Margiotti saw it all the way. De Stefano line out there now. De Stefano, Granda, and Brad Rush. Guy Ackerman and Greg Smith at the points. Lions control the faceoff as it's kicked out of the zone now by Rodney Lane as he lost his stick momentarily. Greg Smith with, with it, dumps it back into the zone where it's controlled by Villanova's number six, Paul Lafond. He flips it out of the zone as the puck goes to center ice, dumped back in by Guy Ackerman. Margiotti now leaves it there for Lafond. Lafond centers it, and it's almost picked off by the Lions, but it's shot back down the ice, and apparently no icing will be called as Guy Ackerman retreats and takes it behind the Lion goal. Guy Ackerman now up along the left wing boards for Brad Rush, but the pass is behind him and comes to center ice. Lions now, as play has started to get a little bit sloppy at center ice, both teams having a tough time getting any offensive movement. Here's Glenn to Stefano in front, tries to get it to Rush. He can't back to the point to Ackerman. Over to John Granda. Granda with it, right wing boards. Granda centers, but it's blocked off there by Paul Lafond. Now Kevin Kelly has it, gets it back to the point where Guy Ackerman tries to keep it in. He does, but Villanova able to control and shoot it back out to center ice where Glenn Stefano has it. Back to Paul Lafond as he shot it into the zone. Villanova able to control. Now the Wildcats ragging, puck, ragging the puck at their own side of the center red line. Comes back into the Lions zone where Greg Smith feeds it up on the left wing boards for Stefano. Glenn Stefano. Carries it into the zone. Offside as John Granda just penetrated the zone a bit too soon on the left wing. Not too much offense out there this period by Villanova. It's been basically a whole Penn State period. I uh, think it's keeping them in the game. is fine defense. They're keeping Penn State out in front of the crease, clearing them out very well. And Penn State's not getting that many good opportunities. When they are alone in front, they seem to have the shots blocked by a defenseman right in front, going down at the right, the right moment. Well, as you mentioned, most of the play has been down in the Villanova end of the ice, and Martigatti has been tested quite severely. Batista has the puck off the faceoff, fires it back into the Villanova zone, centered in front by Glass, and almost kicked in to the net by Billy Quinlan. That's where a defenseman can hurt you. I'd say he was coasting into the net to look for any uh, Penn State wingers coming in, and he deflected it in and off the skates. Back to Glass, shot, blocked. Batista from the point, shot, and a save by Margiotti. And now some bumping in there and some physical action in front of the goal as Jamie Hedema was knocked down to the ice by Ken Downey. And Hedema with a big smile on his face. And uh, I don't know what they're going to call, if they're going to call anything. I really don't think so, Lou. I I'll say ahead of him is one. He's not one to do fight. He's not one to fight. But if one of his players is getting picked on, he's one to like hit you from behind when you're not most least expected. I'll tell you that much. He stick up for his teammates. 100%. Okay, Jeff, Jeff Beck and Jamie Hedema draw controlled by the Wildcats. As play is loose along the left wing boards, comes out where Batista has it. Joe Batista crosses to Dean Petraka. Ed to Hedema off the stick into the zone. Now the Wildcats dig in after it. Hedema jams his man behind the goal. Glass backhands a pass for first. He can't control it. Now the Wildcats have it up along to the right wing boards. Tim Curran. Tim Curran now starts out of the zone. Curran looks to move into the zone. He does. Broken up there on a good defensive play by Joe Batista. And Roger first just fires it out of the zone. And the puck comes back into the villain of his zone, but doesn't cross the goal line, so no icing. 
but the Wildcats able to get it out. Now Batista has it there for the Lions. He flips it up on the right wing board. Brody goes after it, loses his stick. Has a good body check in there by Tim Curran. Now the Lions control the puck uh, at the center ice area. Roger first goes in after it with Brody. Puck is controlled by Quinlan now as he fires it in on Pollock. Took a couple of crazy bounces, but went to the right of goaltender Jim Pollock. And now the Lions' Joe Granda flips it back to defenseman Dean Petraka. It's Granda now out there with Brody's and Humphrey. Ahead to Dave Brody. Brody at center. Backhand pass to Humphreys. Too far behind him. And the puck goes into the Villanova zone. Play really getting sloppy right now. Now Villanova tries to start out as Ken Downey with the puck. Oh, good solid body check in there by Joe Granda. Fine defensive play. Now the Wildcats still control the puck as Downey gets it back. There's a shot on the goal, but it's a little bit wide. As Pollock comes up with the easy save, now it dribbles in onto the goal again where he falls on the loose puck and we're starting to get some more physical action down at the other end of the ice as some sticks are up and some bodies are flying around I see Joe Granda down there along with I believe that's Ken Downey although he's out of our view right now but Granda had a few pleasantries for the villain of a wildcat I'll, I'll tell you, Luke, Barry Whitaker started that action back there. He came in a little bit late after the whistle, and I think not Glenn, not, excuse me, not Glenn DeSiffano, he's not Joe Grant over, and then two of the just people just started going at it back there, and uh, well, we're going to call some penalties. Downey was in there along with Mancuso. As about six or seven of the uh, members of both clubs were jamming behind the goal, right behind uh, and to the left of goaltender Pollock. It appears the penalties will be on Downey. I think both coaches are going to have to talk to the guys and tell them that the puck's the most important thing in a game because they don't seem to be going for the puck anymore. They're going for the body totally. It's like wherever the puck is, hit that guy. Boy, there's a lot of heavy hitting out there. The penalty goes to Frank Segreto, and so far he's the only one in the box, and I don't know. The door's open for Penn State. The door is open, so maybe it'll be Petraka as he's standing right outside the box. and. Not making any any effort to go inside right now. We'll have to wait and see. A little confusion there on the part of Penn State. I don't know if it's confusion or just not wanting to go into the box. Might be might be Smith. He looks like he's skating in that general direction. Well, we still don't know. <laughs> the, the door is open. Somebody's going to have to go in there. It Who it is? It just closed it. There's either confusion with the uh, penalty box people or confusion with the Penn State players. I don't know which it is. I think it's just a penalty on on uh, number seven, Villanova, Segreto. Well, apparently that's the case. No, nope. no, no. I didn't think so. Joe Granda goes into the box. I think Another, Joe was trying to hide down behind the I think he was. He was hiding behind goaltender Andy Schaub there. I was hoping, I think he was hoping that uh, referee Jim Zarnick wouldn't see him. But both teams will be skating short one man. Lions control the face off. Here comes Guy Ackerman on the left wing. Ackerman into the zone with Granda. Ahead to Granda. Behind him, the pass is controlled now by Villanova. Going to Stefano with it there. But he can't keep it into the zone as it's shot out to center by Barry Whitaker. Now play is still loose at center. Villanova has the puck. Paul Lafond ahead on the right wing for Whitaker. And he goes to the ice along with Guy Ackerman. Now Ackerman comes up with a puck. Here come the Lions. Guy Ackerman ahead to Glenn DeStefano. DeStefano into the zone. Drops it back for Ackerman. But the play was anticipated there by Chris Mancuso, and he gets it out. Now here come the Wildcats. They got something forming. Mancuso in front, stolen away by Granda. And another penalty call, and this one's going to be a hooking call on the Lions. And Villanova will go on the power play. I'll tell you what broke up that break by Penn State, Lou, is the, one of the oldest plays in the book. Uh, the Villanova player going, drop it, drop it, drop it, and DeStefano dropped it. And right to him. The Penn State player was way about five feet behind him. No, no chance to get the puck. That penalty goes on Guy Ackerman, and the Lions now will skate shorthanded for the next two minutes as the Wildcats will have a four-on-three skating advantage. And the call was hooking. So the Wildcats power play unit will consist of Jeff Beck centering uh, number 17, Billy Quinlan, 
as the Wildcats unable to, and they do keep the puck in the zone. Downey along to the left wing boards, back to the point to Downey. Downey crosses over to Quinlan. A drive, right on, save, rebound. It's loose in front, and Pollock falls on it and comes up with a big save again. Again, Pollock playing well back there, and again, the Penn State defensemen are going to have to clear those Villanova players out from in front of the net. They're getting too many second chances in there. Shot from just inside the blue line by Billy Quinlan. He's got a hard drive, and it was low right on the ice, and Pollock had to come up big, and he did. Lions penalty killers out there. Matt Glass now, along with Dean Petraka and John Granda. Puck is loose in the front, and score! by Villanova and the Wildcats on the power play take a two to one lead and apparently it was by number four Mike Buffano yeah Villanova took the face off there it was kind of a strange play uh, the puck went out to the right side Buffano coasted right in all alone nobody even close to him shot right into the off over the right uh, waffle boards no excuse me white glove side of goaltender Jim Pollock We'll have to wait for the announcements on the assists, but Villanova takes a two to one lead here. Time of the goal comes at nine minutes and 12 seconds. And Pollock being a left-handed goaltender kind of confuses things a little bit right there. Face off at center ice controlled by the Lions. Matt Glass with it. He drops it back for Batista. Batista sends it ahead to Jamie Hedema. Hedema along the left wing boards. He's tied up there by Quinlan. Now the puck comes into the zone and it's taken there by the Wildcats. They can't get it out. Now they do as it comes out to center. Ken Downey with it. Downey across the line. Downey into the zone. Fires it on the goal. It goes wide. Now behind the net. The Lions digging after it. Two on one. In front. Puck is loose. Controlled by Penn State. Here comes Joe Batista. Batista flying at center. He's coming in. Batista. Shot. Save. Rebound. And another save. It's still loose. And a lot of bodies flying around. And about four players went into the net. Great play by Batista. Came in all alone. Was being taken down by the Villanova defender. Was sliding in towards the net and shot it while he was laying on the ice. And we got a tripping call. And that'll go on the Villanova Wildcats. So the Lions will be on the power play. That penalty to Billy Quinlan as he hauled down Joe Batista, who was in clean. Batista still got a shot off while he was on his knees. Great effort there by Joe Batista. The Lions power play unit will consist of Joe Batista on left point. Dean Petraka on the right side. Or let's reverse that. Petraka on the left, Batista on the right, along with Matt Glass and Jamie Hedema. This will be a four-on-three power play advantage. In 17 seconds, each team will get one man out of the box. And at that point, the Lions will be skating five on four. Petraka to Batista. Batista, shot, save, rebound, hit the post. Hit the post, Matt Glass, great chance. Puck is loose, controlled by Villanova, and they shoot it down the ice. That was a chance of all chances there. Glass all alone in front of the net. Backhander hit Rang off the post and went into the side, cleared by Villanova defenseman. Took the rebound off a great shot by Batista and had an opportunity to tie this game. Now loose puck in front. They jam at it there. Villanova comes away with it as they clear it down the ice. Brian Emmerich shoots it and Pollock leaves it there for Batista. Now the Lions skating five on four as the penalized players are back on. Now the pass for the Lions was stolen. Here comes Glass. Shots. Hit the post again. He hit the post again. Roger first with it. First behind the goal. Looks to center. Still has the puck. Controlling first. Back to the point to Petraka. Dean Petraka holds it. Back to first. First. First falls down. Back to uh, Petraka. Winds up. Shot. Deflected wide. Right on top of the goal. And it settles there on the mesh. As Glass and Brian Emmerich bump and shove behind the goal. Here comes Paula Fond in there along with uh, another one of the Wildcats, John Lammers. That's but true. the faceoff will come just I think outside. outside the blue line because the Lions shot the puck onto the goal. Now, there may be uh, further penalties. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Two post shots in 30 seconds by Penn State there. Both by, by Matt Glass, too. Unbelievable. He's got to be talking to himself now. As we mentioned, he's only one goal shy of the single-season record. 
Okay, Jeff, the Lions will be on the power play. And this is a big power play situation. They've got a very precarious one-goal lead. It's been that way throughout the uh, course of the game. Nobody has had a, a lead larger than one goal as John Lammers heads to the box. Lions on the power play with Glenda Stefano centering Matt Glass and Jamie Hedema, Dean Petraka, and Joe Batista at the points. The Wildcats out there have uh, their leading scorer, Chris Mancuso, as one of the penalty killers. Paul Lafond and Billy Quinlan will be on defense. And also Frank Segreto. Lions control the faceoff. Matt Glass pokes at the puck in the corner, comes back out, and comes out of the zone as Batista can't hold it in. And now two of the Lions go for it there. Batista comes away with it. Joe Batista in his own zone. Batista looks to feed it up on the left wing as the pass is intercepted and blocked there by Villanova. Now the puck does come into the zone. Billy Quinlan with it there. Quinlan almost poke checked away by Glenn DeStefano, but he regains control and fires it down the ice. And the Lions now with a minute 28 to go on the power play. Joe Batista ahead to Glenn DeStefano. DeStefano at center. He's got Glass and Hedema trying to go across the line, but he loses the puck. That's his poke checked away there. Batista with it now into the zone. Batista on the left wing to Hedema. Hedema shot toward the net. Grabbed there by Margiotti. Easy save, and he hangs on. He hung on to that puck since Joe Batista was gliding towards the net all alone, right, waiting for the rebound. He held on for the stoppage of play. He'll face off to the right of goaltender Margiotti. Penn State has a minute and 14 left on the power play. Penalty went to number five, Ken Downey. Excuse me, not John Lammers. Now the faceoff will be just to the right of the Villanova goal. Glenn Stefano will go for it there with Tim Curran as referee Jim Zarnick getting set to drop the puck. Puck is faced off and controlled by Villanova. Behind their own goal, Quinlan. Quinlan tries to get it up along the left wing boards. Good forward check in there by Matt Glass. Centers in front. The Stefano has it. He looks to center. Now it comes back to the point. Batista. Joe Batista off the boards to Matt Glass. Matt Glass with a puck. Centers towards the net. Back to the point to Petraka. A drive. Save. Rebound. Shot. Score! That was Glenn Stefano as he tucked it in the short side to the left of goaltender Margiotti. The Lions now with a 6-4 lead in the hockey game. Beautiful play. Uh, took a wicked bounce. Uh, Smith took a shot from the point, deflected off the backboards, right out to Stefano, who was standing all alone on the right side of the net, shoot it in, easy goal. No problems at all. He That's couldn't have had a more open net for nothing there. That's Stefano's second goal of the night, his... 25th of the season. He's also got an assist in this game. The Lions take the first two-goal lead of the night. And the crowd is really excited now. Dave Brody with Roger First and Bobby Holcroft out there. Puck goes into the Villanova zone. First digs in after it along with Downey as that wiped out the remainder of the penalty. And now a whistle and some oh wow and a late hit there by Billy Quinlan. He came in on top of Roger first. Or Dave Brody, excuse me. And uh, That was a, uh, a lot of action A questionable behind the Villanova goal. I don't know what penalties we're going to get out of this, if any at all, but Billy Quinlan really came in. It's like a two-hander to the back of Dave Brody behind the uh, Villanova goal. Right over his head. I, I don't know what spurred all that back there, but there was a lot of uh, push and shoving back there. It seemed like there was a penalty called already on probably on Penn State on uh, Brody and then all of a sudden out of nowhere a Villanova player comes over and tomahawks I think it was Roger first in the head so I, I don't know what the story was back there well so far only Brody is in the box and uh, seen Billy Quinlan on the Villanova side and so that means that both teams will be skating shorthanded one man as that is the call this will be a four on four skating situation the Lions will have out Glenda Stefano with Roger first and first now will go off to be replaced by Bobby Holcroft. Greg Smith along with Mike Blackwell on the points for the Lions. As Tim Curran will go for the faceoff for Villanova along with the Stefano. Puck is controlled by Villanova. As number four Mike Buffano has it. He still maintains control of the puck behind his own goal line. Mike Buffano backhand pass up ahead to Curran. Curran in the middle but nobody home. 
as the puck is stolen by the Lions. Bobby Holcroft dumps it into the zone, rolls behind the goaltender Margiotti, but the Wildcats maintain control, bring it out to center ice. Back into the zone now, the Lions zone. Greg Smith up ahead to, to De Stefano. He's bumped hard there by Curran. Now Blackwell has it. He fires it into the zone. Margiani gloves it, lays it there for Downey. Ken Downey behind his own goal. Downey now starts out. Here come the villain of the Wildcats. Pass ahead for Buffano, but he can't control it. Goes behind the line goal. Greg Smith has it. Greg Smith backhands it up for Glenn DeStefano. DeStefano on the left wing. DeStefano feeds it up ahead to Holcroft. Too far in front of him. He'll chase in after it along with Downey. Holcroft has it. Can't center it as he's ridden off the puck there by Downey. Solid body check along the left wing boards. Now first tries to keep it in. He can't as it's brought out to center ice by Downey. Fires long on the goal. Wide of Pollock. Comes out to Blackwell. Mike Blackwell feeds it up ahead for Roger first, but the puck is picked off by LaFond, and he controls it back in the Villanova zone. Dumps it out to center. Mike Blackwell fires it. Glass controls the puck at center. Back to Blackwell. He can't control the puck. Play getting somewhat ragged right now. Now it's fired into the zone. This will be icing. Apparently, well, I don't know. They both raised their hands, but no whistle was called, so play continues. Now Villanova has the puck at center ice. They maintain control. Fired it into the zone. Wide of Pollock. Comes around now for Carey. Carey fights in after it there, along with Roger first. Now carries it behind the goal. Looks to center. Carey still has the puck. Now crosses to the right point. Shot on the net. Kick save. Pollock in a beauty. John Granda goes after it there. He's ridden off the puck. And Batista controls as... LaFond and Granda bump along the boards. Puck is driven back behind the Villanova goal now, and it jumps up onto the back of the goal and sits there where the whistle blows. The faceoff will come out apparently outside the, the uh, Villanova line as they rule that a Wildcat player shot it in to the zone. Jamie Hedema out there now with Matt Glass and Roger First. As we have 6.54 to go here in the third period with Penn State leading 6-4. to four. I think Carey waited a little bit too long on that play. Uh, he had a couple men in front and waited just a hair too long. It's, uh, got a nice shot from the point, but there was no one in front of the screen. Joe Batista now backhands the puck into the Villanova zone where it's gathered in there, but intercepted by Glass. He tries to feed to Hedema, who is alone on the right side, but he couldn't get the pass through a maze of players. Villanova comes back one-on-one. -on -one. This is Buffano in, shot, hit the outside of the post. Grabbed there by Petraka, comes behind the goal. Jamie Hedema ties up a man there. And the puck is frozen as both Hedema and Barry Whitaker bump behind the Lion goaltender Jim Pollock. The faceoff will be to Pollock's left. As we're down to 6.28 to go, third period here at the Ice Pavilion. Penn State 6, Villanova 4. I'm sure Penn State's content to play a dumping in game here, but I, I don't know what's the matter with Villanova. They're going to have to take it to Penn State a lot more. Uh, they're down by two with only six minutes left. Pollock's been playing a good game, and Penn State's been on the offense most of the game. So uh, right now, they're going to have to put some pressure on, or they're going to be going home losers. They're going to have to start doing that. Mancuso will take the face off with Stefano. Segreto on left wing for Villanova. Stefano controls the pass, controls the face off, gets it ahead to Holcroft. Holcroft into the zone. Bobby Holcroft. Tries to feed it in the middle to Granda, who is breaking towards the net, but that pass is blocked off. Now De Stefano has it. Glenn De Stefano bumped along the right wing boards there by Downey behind the goal. The puck is loose. Now a solid check in there by De Stefano, but the Wildcats maintain control of the puck. De Stefano going after it again as he's all over the ice tonight, as is the case every night. Here come the Wildcats into the zone. Solid check on Downey there by Batista. Great play. And the Lions control the puck. Now they lose it in front. The puck is loose. Pollock is down. Petraka going in after it, along with Frank Segreta. Now the puck is to the left of Pollock behind the goal. They still fight for it. Puck is very, play is very ragged right now. Here come the Lions as Joe Batista comes into the zone. Batista on the back end, holds it. Now is written off the puck there, and a good defensive play by Downey as it appeared there might be uh, some big problems there for Villanova as Batista was breaking in clear. Now the puck is shot out the center and comes back down into the zone. 
for the Lions. Greg Smith gathers it, feeds it up on the right side to Mike Blackwell. Blackwell over to uh, Danny Humphreys. Humphreys fans on the pass intended for Granda. Now it goes into the zone. A pile up of players along the blue line, but the Lions control it. Greg Smith into the zone. Winds it around the boards. Smith chases in after it. Looks to center. Greg Smith still with the puck. Now along the right wing boards. Does center. Humphreys has it there. Humphreys back to the point to Blackwell. He'll get a drive. Shot. Knocked down in front. And Villanova comes out with it. Here they come. Two on two. This is Holcroft across the line. Knocked away there and controlled by Brody. As Tim Curran brought the puck into the zone on a two-on-two -two situation. Brody with a good defensive play to ride him off the puck. 4.34 to go here in the hockey game. 6-4 to four, Penn State. Play's starting to get a little bit cheap out there. There's a lot of players taking some runs. There's a lot of other players out there. Smith came down and took a run at one of the Villanova defensemen coming across the zone. But... Uh, it's all in the game of hockey. Jamie Hedema with Matt Glass and Roger first the line out there now for Penn State. Greg Smith and Mike Blackwell on defense. Faceoff is controlled by the Lions as Matt Glass has it there. Gets it over to Roger first. First controlling the puck along the left wing. Greg Smith has it back to first. First holds back to Greg Smith. Greg Smith back to Roger first. Now they try to get it in front and a whistle. And we'll wait for what the call is. Apparently the net has been knocked out of position once again. So the referee, Jim Weaver, goes over and does his job, straightens it out. We're ready to go with 4.21 to go in the hockey game. Jamie Hedema goes for the faceoff there along with the Wildcats' Buffano. Puck is tied up along the left wing boards now as Quinlan goes in there along with Jamie Hedema and Roger first, and they'll get another face off to the right of Margiato. Penn State's still playing their style action here. Uh, they're in the lead and sitting on it basically right now. Quinlan behind the goal fires it, tries to fire it up along the left wing boards. It's knocked away. Wildcats do control the puck. It comes out to Mike Blackwell. Blackwell feeds it up on the left wing. It's knocked away there and bumped back into the zone. Now Roger first with it as the puck comes out. Ahead to Jamie Hedema. Two on one with Matt Glass. Hedema and Glass. Matt Glass in. Shot. And it goes wide as Matt Glass had an opportunity but was unable to get a good shot on goal. Now here comes Glass again with the puck. Back to Blackwell. Mike Blackwell. Shot on the net. Save Margiotti. And he hangs on on the eye high wrist shot from the right side by Mike Blackwell. I think that one was deflected by his own defenseman. Uh, he tried to knock it down with a glove and tipped it a little bit to the right of the goaltender and that made a nice save on the play. Blackwell just a wrist shot from the point, no slap shot, trying to be accurate and uh, just nobody in front to tip or screen. We've got equipment flying all over the place right now as our engineer Steve Babbitt got a little excited on that last two on one. Lions go for the faceoff now. Glenn DeStefano out there with uh, Buffano. Lions control the draw, but it comes out to center ice. As Jamie Hedema, or John Granda, digs in after it. And the Lions right wing is able to get it up to Glenn DeStefano. DeStefano now dumps it out of the zone, where Quinlan will go in after it. Quinlan for Villanova at center ice. Looks to carry into the zone. He gets around Holcroft. Now around Petraka. Looks to center. Great play there by Joe Batista. Fine defensive play by the junior defenseman from Penn Hills, Pennsylvania. Shot on the goal. Blocked away in front. Petraka goes in after it. Can't control the puck. He's ridden off the, the disc there by Mark LaFond. The Lions do control but lose it. Back to the right point. Shot on the net. Deflected in front. Knocked away by Bill Carey. Now another shot. Oh, and that one goes through the crease. And Ponick able to keep it out of the net. The Stefano fights for it along with Humphreys. The puck does come to center ice. Rodney Lane has it there for Villanova. But now it's stolen by Bobby Holcroft as he fights for it along with John Lammers. And the puck is into the Villanova zone. Stays in as Stefano flips it up into the crowd. We've got a faceoff with 2.33 to go. In the hockey game, 6-4 to four Penn State. Holcroft didn't seem to know where the puck was. He was chasing into the zone after it. Hit his legs, bounced back into the zone, and he went out towards center ice. He was going in the wrong direction right there. Good game. Uh, this third period isn't quite as exciting as the, last, the second period. The second period had most of the action in it. Uh, Penn State still, I'd say they're playing about even hockey, maybe taking, a, maybe taking it to Villanova even a little bit. 
Villanova again is going to have to do some work to win this game. Two minutes left. Okay, puck is into the Lions zone. Dan Humphreys fights for it along with Batista. Now the Wildcats have it in front. Shot wide of Pollock. And the puck is controlled by John Granda, Joe Granda. And he gets it out along the left wing boards. He's got Brody in front. To Brody. In. Shot. Oh, wide. Just over the top of the net. Brody with a great chance. Behind the goal now. Frank Segreta for Villanova. Tries to get out of the zone. Held in by Granda. Fires it along the left wing boards. Now the Wildcats do carry it out to center. And a long shot on Pollock. Easy stick save as he steers it into the left corner where Joe Batista has it. Joe Batista fights for it along with uh, Brody. And Segreto, Brody comes away with it. Carries it out of the zone. Dave Brody. Puck is loose at center. Dumped back in. Here come the Wildcats. Brody fights for it along with Segreto. Shot wide and into the mesh. By number 19, the leading scorer, Chris Mancuso, from the left side. Faceoff will come to the right of goaltender Jim Pollock with 1.33 to go and a two-goal Penn State lead. Goaltender Margiotti is out about, oh, say, 20 feet from his net, waiting to be pulled. I'm sure if Villanova wins his faceoff, he'll be coming off. Uh, it's going to take a miracle now to win, but uh, still have a good chance. Villanova's setting up a little better right now. Too bad it's a little bit too late. Jamie Henneman with Matt Glass and Roger first for the Lions. Mike Blackwell controls the faceoff. Glass tries to kick it ahead out of the zone. Hedema is able to clear it as Rodney Lane goes back and retrieves the puck for Villanova. He's hauled down, and I think it's just going to be an offside. A little bit earlier, the uh, there's a lot of pushing and shoving going around in front of the net, and uh, Dean Petraka punched a Villanova player in the face and then took a slash to the back, and... Uh, crying for a penalty, but I think the referee saw the first push, too. No penalty was called. 121 left as Villanova controls the faceoff. They've got the puck at center ice now. Here comes Bufana. Knocked away by Glass. Into the zone. Glass digging in after it. Looks to center. He had Roger First alone in the slot. Now to Hedema. Hedema shot on the goal wide. Roger First controls the rebound. Centers it in front. Hedema with it again. Shot. Save. In front. Glass. Shot. And another save by Margiotti. Beautiful glove save by Margiotti. Glass was all alone in front, and he came up quick with a quick glove. Nice save, a little bit of, still more pushing and shoving. I, I hope this game doesn't turn into any kind of uh, push, pushing and shoving match here at the end, really. Uh, both teams uh, play great game, and I uh, hope it's not marred by anything here at the end. We're down to one minute to go in the game. With the Nittany Lions holding that two-goal advantage, Jamie Hedema gets it back on the point to Blackwell. Blackwell shot on the net wide. Comes back to the left point. Greg Smith will try to hold it in. He does. He fights for it along the left wing boards along with John Lambers, but Villanova is able to get the puck out of the zone. Good play by Greg Smith as he stole the puck from Mark Lafine. Greg Smith ahead of a head of a back to Smith. Shot. Save. Puck goes loose along the left wing boards, and it's fired out of the zone all the way down the ice, but they blow the ice in a way. And I don't know why, but Blackwell is able to get the puck out of the zone. Now it's brought back in offside as two of the Wildcat players, Mark Lafon and John Lammers, both trapped in on offside. We're down to 24 seconds to go in the game. Fine game played by Penn State here. They came out in the third period flying, scored a couple of goals, and uh, basically played good tight defense the last couple 10 minutes of the game to keep their score on top there and uh, six to four played a great game they deserve the win this has without a doubt been the most entertaining hockey game of the year here for the fans at the ice pavilion and it can be the most entertaining game and the most satisfying game as far as the Lions and their fans are concerned if they are able to hold on to this two goal lead with only 24 seconds to go the faceoff now will be with Buffano and Glenn, St and Glenn to Stefano. De Stefano controls it, gets it back to Batista. He backhands it along the right wing boards, goes behind the Villanova goal, while Holcroft has it in front. The Granda shot. Knocked away. Holcroft with it. Looks to center. Robbie Holcroft with 10 seconds left. On the point to Petraka. Crosses to Batista. Batista, a drive. Score! I think it was John Granda in front with a tip. A blast from Joe Batista on the right point. There was a screen in front. It may have been deflected home by Granda. 
But regardless, the Lions with a three goal lead. That's all she wrote with just seven seconds to go in the game. The crowd loves it. The Lions love it. They are within seven seconds of defeating their biggest rival, Bill Villanova, right here at a very enthusiastic ice pavilion. Beautiful shot by Batista, center to, shot over it by Petraka for the icing on the cake, basically. Petraka and Batista get the assists as the puck is shot down the ice. And with one second to go, the whistle is blown. There'll be a face-off down to the right of Margiotti and the villain of a goal. The Lions have this one in the bag. One second to go. They lead by three. And this certainly has been an outstanding effort by Coach Clayton Johns, Nittany Lions, here this afternoon. Very entertaining The game, puck is though. dropped. I'd the whistle it. goes. The siren roars, and it's all over. The Penn State Nittany Lions have defeated the Villanova Wildcats here this afternoon at the Penn State Ice Pavilion by a final score of 7-4 to four as the Lions now mob their goaltender, Jimmy Pollock. And you really have to give him a lot of credit, Jeff. He really kept them in there in the first period with four or five outstanding saves. And, you know, when your goaltender comes up with some strong play like that, it just inspires the rest of the team. And, and they showed it the rest of the way as they outscored the Wildcats 6-3 uh, to three from that point on after the 1-1 tie at the end of one. But you have to give Pollock a lot of credit. Glenda Stefano with a great game. Uh, Matt Glass with his usual superlative effort. Greg Smith and uh, Dino Petraka and Joe Batista on defense. It was a team effort, uh, 100%, and that's exactly the kind of effort that they've been getting. I think Joe Batista played a fine game at defense. I don't know what his defensive experience is, but for being put there uh, in like kind of an almost an emergency situation here with Farnham going down yesterday, he did a great job at defense. Unbelievable good, a great job. It must be, the I'm sure a lot of it's coaching, but there's a lot of individual talent there in Joe Batista, and it really showed in this game. Played fine at defense. I think he had three assists. I'm not, yes, three, that's unofficial right now, but as it's four assists as it stands right now, possibly even five on that last goal. Great game by Joe Batista. Well, it certainly was. It was a great, great game by a defensive core that certainly was depleted. The injury to Randy Fartleman last night was just the latest in a succession of uh, physical problems that the team has had. And uh, you just have to give them uh, all the credit in the world for being able to compensate for the injury problems and to come up with the, a superlative effort here in the third game of a three-game weekend. We're going to get the three-star selections right now from uh, announced by... Carl Rosenberger, the PA announcer today. Joe Batista is awarded the third star of the game. Matt Glass, who set a new scoring record for the Penn State Nittany Lions in a single season, is the number two star. And the number one star of the game is the outstanding center from Chatham, New Jersey, Glenda Stefano. And 